Hi children, welcome back. I think you all enjoyed the last session. So let us continue with quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral children? Do you remember? Yes, four sides. Now let us see the different types of quadrilateral and its properties. Okay, I will show the pictures. Children, first one, it is parallelogram. Parallelogram, that is from the name itself you can understand parallel that is opposite sides are parallel this sides are parallel and these sides are parallel that is opposite sides are parallel and also opposite sides are equal now about the angles so opposite angle i have marked red opposite angles are equal these both opposite angles are equal from this we can understand opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Now what about the diagonals? Diagonals intersect each other and it bisects. What is the meaning of bisect? The line is being divided into two equal parts. It is very important children when you are doing the practical geometry or when you are doing finding the area it is very important about the diagonals bisect each other now let us see the next quadrilateral children next quadrilateral rhombus are you confused that it is a square no children it is rhombus all the sides are same but only difference is that the opposite angles are only equal for a square all the angles are 90 degree but for a rhombus only opposite angles are equal that is the difference okay children now all the sides are equal for it and opposite angles are equal what about the diagonals diagonals intersect perpendicularly what is the meaning of perpendicularly that is when they intersect the angle formed there is 90 degree okay that is the meaning of perpendicular so for the diagonal of a rhombus it intersect perpendicularly okay now we'll go to the next quadrilateral so children you are very familiar with this quadrilateral rectangle yes here opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal and also opposite sides are parallel now what about the angles it is 90 degree for a rectangle all the angles interior angles are 90 degree and the diagonal intersect and it bisects so i explained you what is bisect so it bisects each other now let us see the next quadrilateral okay children now let us see the next quadrilateral you are very familiar a square all sides are equal and all angles are equal 90 degree but only thing is that when the diagonals are intersecting it is perpendicular it forms perpendicular 90 degree and here see the picture children why I have given two colors that means it bisects the angle also it is an angular bisector the diagonal when it intersects it becomes an angular bisector okay that is the importance so for a square all sides are equal all angles are equal diagonals intersect perpendicularly and the angle is been cut into two and it has been divided it has been bisected by the diagonal next quadrilateral kite you are so happy you love kites yes so look at the shape what is the importance why it is special consecutive sides are equal consecutive sides what is consecutive sides the near near sides one pair of near near sides consecutive sides are equal measure you can see here these both are of equal measure and these both are of equal measure and there is a speciality of the diagonal one diagonal is bigger one and the other diagonal is smaller one this bigger diagonal bisect the smaller diagonal this bigger diagonal cuts the smaller diagonal into two equal parts bisect the smaller diagonal okay now we'll go to the next and last quadrilateral trapezium children trapezium 
it is a small thing there is no much property about trapezium the only property is that one of the opposite side is parallel okay children let us now do a problem using the property of a quadrilateral you know that the total sum of the quadrilateral is 360 in this picture we can see here first one is 50 degree next is 130 degree and 120 degree and one of the angle is x so how to find the value of x you know that the total angles okay the sum of the angle of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so you have to add all the angles 50 plus 130 plus 120 you will get the answer as 300 and our total is 360 degrees so what about the x 360 minus 300 that is equal to 60 degrees you got the value of x now let us see the next problem you saw the picture there you can see a square like what does it mean that is 90 degree then the unknown side is 90 again and what x is there the other angles are 70 and 60 so how to find the value of x so 70 plus 60 plus 90 so all together how much you are going to get that is 220 degree 220 plus x is equal to 360 as a total so what is the value of x 360 minus 220 degree that is 140 degree this is how you will find the unknown value okay children thank you and we'll see in the next session thank you children